The API configuration page allows you to customize what variables are returned to you when you use the direct post API. There's a default format with all of these variables that will come back for all transactions, and these cannot be changed. If you're using a service like the customer vault and you need a vault ID back, we will automatically add it to the end of the response. But if you need more than that or want something totally custom, you can set a custom format. So let's do that now. And over here on the left side are all the available fields. So all of these are the fields that I can add to the API response and have them come back for all actions that I take via the direct post. So there's a lot of stuff here, basically every piece of information that could be on a transaction. But let's say I just want to add a couple. Let me add the billing first name, billing last name, uh, billing method. Let's grab the credit card type. And then I want the total amount that was charged. Let me go down here to total amount. Cool, okay, so now I have all those. I'm gonna scroll back to the top. So there's my custom response. And this is exactly what I'll get back uh, via the direct post. So when I save this, we'll give you a warning that says, hey, if you're changing this, it's gonna change what your API gets. So if you have a piece of software or your website or something that's submitting transactions to the gateway, if you change this, it's gonna change what response we send to that. So it may remove values that were there before. It may add things it's not expecting. It's gonna be a change. So you wanna make sure that you're okay with this change before actually making it. I'm gonna hit okay. And there we go. So we show you exactly what's going to return. You can, of course, come back and edit this at any point. You can switch back to using the default format, or you can change your custom format. Let's take billing first name and last name out of there. Perfect. And I can go all the way to the bottom, save it again. It'll warn me again. And there we go. So I can keep changing this however I want until it's exactly what I need. And if I ever just want to go back to the default, I can just check this box, scroll to the bottom, save it. And there we go, I'm back to the default format that I had when I started.